right now we're connected and we're connected to Bing. And as you see here, you can see Bing's image of the day. Uh, every day it'll change. And uh, Bing is an application that's brought to you to, to, to bring 16 million points of interest into your, into your vehicle. The radio head unit, that navigation system, has 8, 8 million, but they're, they're static uh, based upon when you bought the car. The, eight, the Bing applications bringing, bring this wide variety of applications that are updated every day. So, so you're always current by using Bing. Now, now Bing has the, the opportunity to, to bring a keyboard up here and you can do a search, uh, say for coffee, and you hit go, uh, and what it's doing now, it's going out to our to the server in Seattle. The server in Seattle is making a request to, to Bing, and uh, and it's coming back. And you can see uh, the results here of uh, coffee shops in a nearby uh, this location that we're in right now at the Plaza Hotel. Now you can also we're also very concerned about driver distraction. So driver distraction. Is a, is, is a big issue and in, in, in all the design elements of this we, we, we looked at driver distraction from many different avenues. One of our primary defenses on, on driver distraction is using and implementing uh, voice recognition as a tool. So as an example with the Bing app uh, you can use advanced voice recognition uh, that, such as VoiceBox uh, that, that, that uh, can allow you to do a search via voice. So you would hit this button here. I need a florist. It's going out. It took my voice, recorded it, went to the server, uh, analyzed what I was asking for, went out to the Bing server, Bing server, and brought back the results here, as you can see, a florist. We think that this is a primary tool as as we're bringing uh, this app world into into the, into Toyota products to make sure that customers are safe and sound while they're driving that they're not distracted. By and by the end of the year, all of our applications will have voice recognition, advanced voice recognition as as a tool for doing for using it. So, in addition to Bing, we have two music applications, um, iHeart. And Pandora, iHeart is a is an application that is is branded by Clear Channel. Clear Channel has 850 terrestrial radio stations in in the United States. Seven of them, 750 of those 850, are now on your Prius V radio head unit. So that immensely increases the uh, the the value of your music system by being able to access stations all over the country. And as, as it points out, you can go to all cities and you can really choose any, any city that you want that, that, has a, that has a clear channel station in it. And that is just about every large city in the nation. For instance, we'll go to Sacramento, California for, for instance. And uh, here is a list of uh, of the of the stations out of Sacramento. We'll pick this classic 93.1, uh, and uh, and as you can see uh, right now that we're, we're hearing music from the 70s and 80s and classic. That's that wonderful golden oldie, nice and white satin for the blues, the moody blues. That's Sacramento Radio playing for you here in New York City. Just pretty much the same as, as this radio app brings you all, all clear channels. You can get your own stations through Pandora. And of course everyone knows Pandora's ability to create a radio station. Uh, uh, what, should be, uh, what should be noted here is that you can choose any of the radio stations you've previously created while you're uh, while you're driving. But if you wanted to create a new station, uh, you'd have to pull over to the side of the road, 
because this is one of the features what we call lockout. Uh, Toyota pioneered the, the lockout technology and what we feel is that it gives you core functionality while you're driving but some of the functionality like creating a station um, you have to be pulled over the side of the road to, to safely accomplish that. So we're, we're listening to uh, Quick Mix right now and Stevie Wonder as part of the, the Pandora radio station. Now we have two commerce apps here, one OpenTable and another MovieTickets.com. OpenTable can give you a restaurant reservation uh, in, inside the vehicle. Uh, for instance, if you were to choose your current location or you can choose any other location, we're here at the plaza again. And I, I'm saying that we're going to create a, a dinner reservation for four tonight. And we're going to have a late dinner at about nine o'clock. And we're going to search for 20 uh, restaurants in the local area that might have a 9 o'clock uh, reservation available to us. So as you can see, there's several choices here. Uh, let's go uh, to Botiga. They have a wide variety of uh, reservations available. Uh, you can see uh, there's the address information. Uh, here are the times that are available of, of some photo. You can choose to find out where it is by pick, pick, uh, picking the mapping button. Or you can decide that if you want to, you can call that, call that restaurant and get personal information through your, through your hands-free hands calling. Or you can just choose, oh, I want that reservation at 9. And what happens is it goes through the open table system and we'll be able to confirm this reservation right now by pressing the confirm button. We're not going to do that because we would fill up uh, all the reservations for uh, Bodiga for tonight because this is an actual live system. But that's how it would work. Uh, finally, um, movietickets.com works much the same way. It, it, gauges where you are right now based upon the, our, the car's GPS and it picks the, the cinemas that are that are close by. Um, the, the city cinema, city cinema is very close by, I think actually across the street. But if you scroll down, you'll find that one of some of the theaters have a, a golden ticket on it. If you press one of those, what, you, what you're able to do is actually get to a movietickets.com uh, theater that will allow you to purchase a ticket for that. Now it's only showing the one movie. Again, you can map it or call it. But if you were to press uh, press the movie theater like this, you can actually buy the tickets or look at all the show times uh, that, are, that are associated with it. Now, part of the, the beauty of this system again is part of the mobile uh, the mobile system handset has the Intune application on it you can take that say if you parked this car in front of the plaza and you wanted to go into the palm court and have a have a lunch and you're you're having that lunch and they say ah I need to go to the shoe store to uh, to buy my wife a pair of shoes she wants and uh, so you can look and search on your mobile app and find that shoe store that you want and then you and you press download and then when you come back into the car and you pair your phone with your with your 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 head unit what will happen is that, that what you selected on your phone will get saved to your, your navigation system so that's the save destinations it'll ask you if you want a if you wanted to save the destination and sync your phone to your car, and if you hit yes, you'll uh, you'll get those saved locations now saved onto your file, and you can choose one of those. You can call it or map it or just go to where you want. So that's the Toyota Intune system uh, at the core app side of it. There is another aspect of Toyota Intune. 
and we're going to just leave this app screen for a second and and, and you can see that the available is fuel consumption uh, charts what traffic is available fuel prices sports stocks and weather as an example if you if you choose fuel prices you can see uh, what what the actual price is uh, and you can sort it by price or brand or distance from where you're where you're at right now if, if you look at this particular you have to go across the bridge to Jersey City New Jersey to, to get this the cheapest price in the area New Jersey gas is cheaper than New York gas uh, you can also uh, look at weather it's raining here in New York City right now but if you wanted a more sunnier forecast you could perhaps choose Albuquerque New Mexico or any major city in the US and see the four-day the four-day uh, uh, forecast so you're also seeing that there are stocks and sports so if you wanted to, to pre-select your favorite teams you can select those and you can see when they're when they're playing or the scores you can also hit the read all button and that read all button will read out all of your scores stocks you can enter the stock symbol for uh, for all of your stock information that you want to follow and you can see that um, here's where here's where your current stocks are this updates about every 15 minutes so aside from your app screen these are the, the, the information uh, areas that are, that are part of a toy, the total package called Toyota Intune.